Hello lovelies. I am trying a new art medium and I thought, hey, since it's the first time I'm going for it, I will share it with you. So I'm going to just open up my package. Um, also, for the record, this art supply and this video are brought to you by my patrons, for whom I am incredibly grateful. So today, I'm going to give oil pastels a try. I also acquired an Ohuhu mixed media sketchbook. And again, none of this would have been possible without the help of my patrons. <clears throat> if you like what you see, I would be incredibly grateful for you to just take a look and check out my Instagram, my TikTok, and my Patreon, all are mythical magpie one word. So let's dive in. Children, do not get out exacto knives without the assistance of an adult. I can barely use it myself, and I am supposed to be an adult. So be very careful and cautious when using straight edge type blades. All right, wrapper is off. Let us see. Oh. Lovely, lovely. A very good range of colors. These are the Pentels. I acquired these because they were cheap, honestly, and I've never tried oil pastels before, so I wasn't sure whether or not I'd be any good at it or if I would love it, so I bought this. But, <clears throat> excuse me, because of who I am as a person, I couldn't wait. So I went to Blick as well. Blick is my favorite local art store. And they have a great arrangement of an assortment of items and an incredible staff who helped me find exactly what I needed. Again, this is a small beginner set. And that is largely because I don't have any idea how these are going to work and if I'm going to like them or not. So we'll give it a shot. Let's see. I didn't realize the mixed media. Oh, boy would be wrapped in plastic. All of this plastic, I don't know what we're going to do with, but here we are. Okay, let's take a look. So this is 120 pound uh, paper and there are 62 sheets. Let's see. Oh, awesome. Okay, so it comes with a clear-ish um, plastic sheets, likely so that you can set it in between pages so that it doesn't rub together. <coughs> You'll have to forgive my coughing. I was really sick with the flu, and um, we checked s several times. It was not COVID. It was just a really bad flu. But anyway, I apologize for the coughing. I will do my best to try and uh, edit that as much as possible. But So these pages are all perforated, which is great. Um, I really like the fact that it is able to lay flat, and if I decided to, I can take out each page relatively easily. Uh, the pages are... Uh, thinner than watercolor paper, but thicker than just regular sketchbook paper. And so I think they're going to be really great for these materials. I don't know what I'm going to work on. I'm going to run to my dear friend and see if we can figure something out together. I'll be right back. Well, I just realized uh, when pulling these out to um, get them kind of situated so I could easily grab them. I'm like, man, these really don't feel like oil pastels. It's because they're not. They're just pastels. They're chalk. It's chalk. I bought the wrong thing. So I'm going to be putting this away for now and making a separate video um, drawing with regular pastels. Um, but because I'm a goofball, unfortunately, my delightful Blick... Um, product is not going to be used today. Now, the person that directed me to these um, directed me to the pastel aisle, and I made the ch choice to choose the wrong product. So it's not their fault. They were very helpful. Anyway, um, so I will be using the Pentel oil pastels. And in the meantime, I ended up calling my dear best friend and Miss Leah over at the Fairy of Lost Things and I are going to collaborate. 
So what I did was we made a list of items that would be fun topics to potentially do art about. And I ended up putting them into a delightful little spinning wheel decision making thing because I'm not very good at making decisions. And we ended up coming up with pride, but make it goth. And so that is what I will be working on today. I have a couple of ideas and we will see how this works. I'm probably going to speed up this process and then do a voiceover later because I don't think anyone wants to watch this in real time. Maybe if I were streaming in some point in the future, I might do that. But you, dear viewer, are going to get the sped up version. So bear with me and I will be right back. All right, so here we are with voiceover Tracy. It is a quick sketch that I'm trying to do. I'm not very good at drawing realism and I'm doing my best to kind of just power through the sketch and not think too much about it because I really just want to try and get this out and start working with the pastels. So I did my graphite sketch and it looks a little gruesome. Just, just wait though. The first thing that I noticed was that these kind of had a very thick smell of like melted plastic. They, it was really, really strong and it took a while for me to kind of get used to it. And I, I still smell it when I bring them out for the first time in a day or so. It's, it's pretty noticeable still. Um, but what I'm learning right now is that I should not have left the graphite sketch so dark because the graphite is blending kind of in and muddying up the colors. And unfortunately, the colors are not particularly opaque uh, enough to kind of draw over the graphite, which I was kind of hoping. So I'm doing the best that I can, just cr trying to blend in with my fingers these colors. The next thing that I noticed was the detail parts of this drawing were gonna be pretty hard. These are flat, round, cylinders essentially of oil pastels so they're not sharpened and I didn't know that that was going to be a problem until I started and realizing that it was going to be really difficult for me to get in to the finer details with the sides of these so I was kind of inaccurate with some of my you know some of the things that I was trying to to, to do but some of the colors themselves were great. I ended up having to get this makeup brush that I purchased for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, or dollar twenty-five technically, uh, because there are a lot of thick chunks that kind of come off the oil pastels. And if you try to smush them away with your finger, they'll smear and essentially input the pigment on where you don't want it. So I got this essentially makeup brush to kind of wipe away the pigment that kind of is left off in chunks. I, I'm enjoying myself, but I'm starting to understand that the finer detail and the blending are going to be kind of harder to do in smaller areas. If I were doing a larger painting or, or drawing, I guess, or something that has less fine detail, this might not be a problem, but I think I'm going to have to find an alternative if I want to draw around this size or scale. So <clears throat> I think now that the drawing is kind of starting to come through, I think, I hope, that my lovely non-binary Wednesday Adams is coming through. And I wanted to make sure that there was some pink in their hair, some white as well, some blue in the, in the shirt to represent uh, non-binary or transgender people and the community. So this is when things started to go a bit awry. <laughs> I was trying to get a more opaque look on the black sweater. And when the background starts to come in, you'll see the, the struggle that I'm having because I'm used to watching creators like um, Black Bean CMS, who creates these incredibly juicy, thick, wonderful colors that are really opaque. And I'm finding that unless I press down really hard, which then causes these oil pastels to kind of have the clumpy pieces fly off, unless I press down really hard, uh, it, it doesn't create that like really rich, thick, opaque color. And so it kind of looks more like coloring with Crayolas for, for a bit and trying to 
cover a larger area. I'm, I'm using my fingers, I'm using Q-tips to try and blend this in. And then I tried using a white to sort of just go over them all and blend them all in, kind of like a, like a blender would be in um, ink markers and alcohol-based ink markers. I ended up changing up the background and it's, it's different now than when I filmed it. And I'll be posting the updated image to my Instagram. But I was just really struggling with the background and trying to make it look neat and rich and juicy. Um, I ended up taking their eyeliner and making it even, even thicker because why not? And this is me bringing in my marker, my acrylic marker. I did make a mistake. And as you can see there, the, out, the oil pastel was able to cover up the mistake that I made with the, the acrylic marker. So here is my finished picture. Pride, but goth. I hope that you like them. I hope that you enjoyed our little time together. And I hope to see you back here soon. Happy Pride. In addition, I want to thank my patrons, without whom this would not be possible. Thank you all so much for your generosity and your belief in me. It is really, really meaningful. Thank everyone. Have a wonderful day. Be well. You are loved.